Hello everybody Yes, yeah, so The thing with road test is that It's not 100% assured that you are going to pass your test You have 50% chance of passing You have 50% chance of failing I wasn't nervous I was really courageous I went for my road test uh, this morning At the time of, I mean, recording this video And I actually failed um, when I was doing my uh, parking so I mean I got so mad I got so pissed with myself I said now nah, I have to do this on my own I have to keep practicing so when I came back to the house I gathered a few boxes that I have and then I mean this is what I did so keep watching and all the best right so that day I went inside a basement I picked some few boxes. Yeah, I picked four boxes. They were looking good. I said, yeah. Put them inside the car. Went to the field and set them up. It was so windy. The boxes were just moving away. I had to put certain objects into the boxes, objects that I found in the car. In some, in some of the boxes, I had to put uh, snow blocks. Yeah, it was a good weather though. Yeah, so I started with perpendicular parking. You see the first and the second pole. You turn all the way right. Whilst turning and reversing backwards, you check to see if the the poles on your uh, in front are equal. When you check on the left mirror and then the right mirror, once they are equal. you back in but I think with this one okay, they were not equal so I had to start a, start again I mean in making this video I wouldn't say I'm still perfect but you know we all learn together maybe you might learn it a 10 or 2 from this video I backed up you don't have to back up too much once you see the first and second pole you turn you turn your steer all all the way right then you reverse backwards check the first pose the one on your left and right once they are equal you straighten your wheels, you straighten your, your 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 steer and then you reverse back. Once you're reversing, make sure that the first the poles to your front are equal to your mirror. Once you, you are reversing and they are, um, they come perpendicular to the mirror, I think you are good to go. I think I hit a pole there. Okay, that pole was flying away, so this was where I was looking for an object to put in that box. I said, nah, I picked the snow block. It was, it was cold, but I had to do what I had to do because I wanted to pass my next road test. I put it in the box. I said, you, you better stay there. You really better stay there. And I'm, I'm not here to joke, man. I have to get her license. So yeah, I did the first perpendicular parking. I wasn't convinced, so I mean, I had to continue. It's not easy in this part of the town because we don't have the train service working it doesn't we don't have the train services we don't have uber we don't have buses so if you don't have a car 
we don't have i mean uber we don't have uh, proper taxi services so if you don't have a personal car you need to stick to the uh, uh, public transport buses which are mostly not convenient because they don't come at the right time like they are either late or they are too early they are not predictable so um, you do what you can to so yeah i think i did this one perfectly So the rule applies to every parking like So since I passed, uh, I was able to do uh, from reversing from, I mean doing a perpendicular parking from the right hand side, I decided to do it uh, from the left hand side as well. And I think, yeah, I got it on the first time with this one as well. And one thing you should notice is that when you're doing your driving test, if you are parking, once you make the move on reversing, you can never, I mean, put a car again on drive to go forward and then correct yourself. Once you are reverse parking, you are reverse parking. You don't have the privilege of putting the gear on drive to go forward to correct some mistakes align yourself no it doesn't happen that way so i mean be notified Okay, so I think, yeah, with this, I was convinced with the perpendicular parking and I was setting the boxes up for, I was setting the boxes up for the parallel parking. Yeah, I think that, yeah, that, that is what's happening here right now. Setting the boxes up for parallel parking. I would say this was a layman's training, like layman's practice because I had to do everything virtually by myself based on what the few things I learned from the, the driving school, like when we're doing parking, I used my intuition to do the measurement and all, but then, I mean, this personal training I did got me my license so I'm proud of it I'm proud of what I did so with the power parking I think the same rule applies once you're able to see the first and the second pole whilst you are reversing backwards whilst you are reversing yeah, every reverse is backwards <laughs> whilst you are reversing once you see the first and second pole then I mean 
begin to turn the gear, uh, turn the uh, steering all the way right. Yeah, and it should come as close to the pole as possible. You don't have to be too distanced from the pole. Yeah, you see how close I was to the pole. Yeah, so I don't think this was good. Well, let's see. Yeah, I think. Yeah, this was wrong. I'm not supposed to. I was. I mean, I was too close to the stand that turning the steering all the way right would hit the pole. These are boxes, so even if I hit it, I won't, I won't feel it. I won't, and the boxes are low, so it's difficult to tell if you see the pole or not. So that made really um, training, the personal training with these boxes difficult because once you are reversing backwards, you are not able to see whether um, you've passed the first, the, the first box or second box. So I was basically using, I mean, the... The, the 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 side mirror which 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 is the wrong thing to do it won't give you a good measurement of the box well i was able to do the power packing but um if it were a pull i would have hit it because the car went all the way back passing the boxes which is wrong though i did the power packing perfectly So yeah, it continued the next day in the night. I started with perpendicular parking. Now I was more or less like a perpendicular parking expert. Voila. So when you are reversing backwards, you just have to keep watch of the the, the posts in the in front. Once the posts are equal to the your 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 side mirror, I mean you can you can put a car on park. It means you are done. You are done with the with the parking. So I tried with the other side. can't drive forward once you are reversing but you can pause to align your car if you are reversing yeah you can pause to align your car make sure you don't hit any pole then you continue i'm giving this this just you will not get it anywhere and this is the most lively parking training i think you would ever see showing you all the wrongs all the mistakes what you can do etc so yeah i came back to adjust the post and can you do me a favor by subscribing to this channel This is my second YouTube channel. I lost the first one to uh, hackers. I had over 1,000 subscribers, but I lost that channel. It's It was painful. I, I lost it last year, but this is a new one. So kindly subscribe. I had to make this video because I, I don't want anyone to go through what I went through like 
failing your driving test for the first time is can break you down emotionally because if you go for the second time you, you need to make a payment which i mean you can avoid by learning few tips from here so the same rule applies i think the video the video is self-explanatory than even the talking that i'm doing like if you watch the video you'll be able to do a proper parking yeah and without watching the video if you were to park do a power parking in between cars make sure the car that is in front of you you come power to it first by making sure that your your side mirror is equal to his full his uh his full door i call it full door okay uh fuel like his full tank uh, wait yeah his full door your 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 car is equal, your side mirror is equal to it parallel it's parallel to it yeah actually yeah parallel yeah once it is power to it you you start you turn your steer all the way right then you reverse you reverse to make sure that your your, your car is straight then you straighten your your steering and i mean you adjust yourself in your day i think this video is self-explanatory yeah let me not confuse you with my with my talking yeah so um thanks so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll be bringing you more videos i'm an I'll be bringing you more immigration related videos in the subsequent ones. Don't forget to turn on notification icon so that when I bring you new videos, you'll be able to get it. So, this is all for perpendicular and then revert, uh, parallel parking. Thanks so much for watching. This is the last part of it.